Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Black Camera once again. Before we get started, like always, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and go ahead and leave a comment down below saying what's up. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video of the day. Let's go. Man, I messed that up. All right, guys, so this is my top 10 Strict Haven cars that me personally playing with and playing against um, these cards, in my opinion, have been like the over performers or the ones that we already kind of knew that was going to do his thing. So um, this is my my opinion. Like I said, I, I done played probably like over 200 games just this past week. But yeah, when you're watching this, it's going to be like a solid week in the day. Um, and these cards right here, um, except for Liliana, I mean, I've. I'm trying to play with this as we speak and it's good, but it's really difficult to play with, but we'll get to that at the end. But these cars starting from my left um, is is the learn. The learn the lesson, the learn lesson mechanic has actually been really fun to play, especially in the best of one, which is 90% of my games. Um, it really helps because it adds that extra dimension to your game that you wish that you always had. So um, this one in particular, if you're running anything with black and you can pay the double black, um, especially with the whole pests, I'm pretty sure everyone has played with and have gotten smoked by the pest life gain, life drain type thing. This one right here has definitely been annoying as hell, but the lesson overall, <laughs> the lesson overall is the lesson mechanic is actually really fun so and, you know, I, I give wizards their benefit right there boom plum the forbidden i i overlooked this card <clears throat> i don't really really remember uh reading this one when i was doing my spoilers but this one right here caught me off by surprise my opponent sacrificed like 10 pests and did like a tremendous amount of damage to me and i was like what the hell is this card and then i seen this one it says as as an additional cost to cast a spell you may sacrifice one or more creatures when you do copy this spell for each creature you sacrifice this way and you draw a card and you lose one life it was insane like i told you it was like 10 12 of those pest tokens and of course he's gaining a life so that kind of you know nullified the losing a life and he drew like 10 cards it was ridiculous so i was like this one right here and then i start seeing that reoccur a lot often so i think a lot of people caught the idea of this one right here so beautiful card and it's only a uh, uncommon so i'm pretty sure this one's gonna be uh in standard being used quite a bit then we got um uh, a princess quandrex a, a princess so two drop two two and it has a uh, magecraft and it says whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell look at the top three cards of your library you may reveal a land from among them and put that card into your hand put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order so when i first seen this card i was like it's whack as hell you you only can pull a land out of the three cards and if you need one of those cards it has to go back at the bottom of your library i'm like why would someone want to do that once again i played against somebody who ramped the hell out of that game like he must have gotten I kid you not, maybe like seven, eight lands by turn four, all because of this card. And then he he played the uh, this one right here. Where is it at? Oh, I didn't put it in here because it's I haven't really seen anyone play it. But the card where you uh, pay four and you get to put all your lands in your hand onto the battlefield. Of course, I beat him because that deck, you know, that's a, another story. But I was just really impressed by how he ramped up so many lands in his hand and then just dumped them on the battlefield so i was like this card needs to be looked at a little bit closer and ramping is going to be phenomenal with this card here then we got it's a it's a duo here which i i've made a video with it but then i just start seeing so many variations of these two cards here we have clever lumen manasser <laughs> and leonin light uh scriber um, Magecraft 
for both of them with this one whenever you cast or copy instant sorcery spell it gets plus two plus two to end the turn this one creatures you control get plus one plus one to end the turn if you have a bunch of one drop two drops instant sorcery speeds bro you can do you can end the game by turn three you know what i'm saying especially if your opponent has a slower start like uh some sort of mid-range control where they're not really doing too much by turn three or four bro you can wipe them off the map by turn three just with these two here honestly like if you got uh, some decent pump spells bro that's game over so these two right here definitely been seeing a lot in standard then we got the other duo we got dina the subpoena and we got sedgemore which <laughs> this one right here um I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody got four copies of this um menace ward which means your opponent if they target this creature they gotta pay three life or you go ahead and counter that spell and it has magecraft and it says whenever you copy da 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 create a one one black and green pest creature token with whenever this creature dies you gain one life so you can kind of already see the synergy which i seen it but i didn't think it was going to be that ridiculous whenever you gain life each opponent loses one life and you can sacrifice and kind of you know sacrifice another creature and kind of keep that thing going so just these two right here and your opponent's casting spells that create tokens which you can sacrifice with the other it's it's nasty so this is definitely the best combination out of this um out of this set for sure black and green definitely wins hands down then we got uh tenazar uh it's a five drop four four uh when this creature enters the battlefield double the number of plus one plus one counters on target creature you control whenever you attack you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become equal to this creature's power and toughness until end of turn so you can do so many ridiculous things i did build something that i believe in my opinion is probably one of the best combinations but the sky is the limit especially with this one because you can double the amount of plus one counters and if you have you know really uh the the six drop creature that doubles <laughs> counters already it can get ridiculous so this one right here i think has potential but i don't think anyone's really played around with it just yet but trust me your boy black hammer got you then last we have we have hope hope free ghost forge is five drop four three spirits you control get plus one plus one and have trample in haste whenever another non-token creature you control dies exile it if you do create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's a spirit in addition to other types and it has when this creature leaves the battlefield return that exile card back to your graveyard i said all that to say this i built a tier one deck with this card hands down like 6 30 i kid you not go ahead watch the video if you're watching this video that means that video is already out and i kid you not this is probably the real mvp of this entire set right here you can do so many ridiculous things with this card here it is not funny i just laughed but i'm i'm telling you it's not funny then we got liliana professor onyx which you can call her it's a six drop now you tell me this why is it a six drop if it was more like a five even i could be like i get it it helps with the curve if this was a four drop it'd be like this is probably one of the best planeswalkers in standard but it is really difficult to play with i this is not a good card to me it's not i don't i don't like it <laughs> it's this one was really hyped up because it's liliana people are like oh man liliana, da, da. it's whack i'm just gonna say it. <laughs> this card is whack as hell of course i'm still gonna try to build something solid around it because i am the black bow the builder i can build anything with any card but this one right here is definitely a challenge so um wish me luck but that is my top 10 cards i think need some recognition in streak saving so 
if you guys have any cards that i might have missed or if you disagree with me on these top tens let me know in a comment and i will respond that's what i do best is respond to my comments so once again it's your boy black hammer and i will see you in the next video you're watching right now